hello, Henry. How are you doing? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Enola Holmes. Finally, we get to tell the story. We see, um, <laughs> are you ready for it? Are you ready for everyone to see this? Obviously, I talked to the rest of the cast. The film is amazing. It's so much fun. It never stops. It doesn't let you down. Good. I'm glad you feel that way. And yeah, I'm really excited about this. I really, really want to see what everyone thinks. I think obviously the movie is a wonderful feel good movie, but the messaging in it is really, really important. And I think essential for, for today's times. And so I, I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone thinks. I think it's, it's accessible to everyone. And I can't wait to, to get the read off the younger generation because this is, this is for them. This is, uh, this is to empower them. What do you think that they'll take from this? Again, like you said, the message is very strong and it is for the young people, but what specifically do you want them to know, um, especially with Enola Holmes in that forefront? I, I want them to know that it's about, it's about self-belief. It's about empowerment. It's obviously female empowerment. It's, it's definitely there. The fact, very fact that it's Enola and, and we're talking about Victorian eras. It was an extreme time for, for equality and the changes in, the, in, in, in social politics. And, but the, the message as well as female empowerment is personal. It's about the individual. It's about all of us who are living in a place in our own heads and hearts where we think we might not be accepted or that we have to do a certain thing to be accepted or we have to do that job. Or if we don't do that job, then, then we're going to be ostracized. And it's the opposite life. Life should be about finding who you are, find that inner spark, that soul, that fire and cultivating it. It's all about believing in yourself and as an individual, no matter what that is. And that is the message which I think is so important, especially for the youth of today, who all we have is, is uh, very confusing messaging when it comes to things like social media and, and the things that we want to present on social media and how they're not actually true reflections of ourself. And right. so it's, it's really important to find those true reflections and, and find what they are and, and cultivate them and, sh and show that to the world and believe in it and believe that it's a good thing. Absolutely. Um, we've seen Sherlock Holmes, who you play in this, in so many different uh, films prior to this, different characters, how they acted. How did you go about making Sherlock your own? With this, so much of it was on the page anyway. And Harry and I spent, uh, Harry Bradbeer and I spent a lot of time talking about me, uh, talking about my experiences, talking about my relationship with my family, uh, my brothers, my parents, and my hopes and my dreams. And then he found certain key characteristics in me that, that he wanted to, to really apply to the character of Sherlock and the relationships with, with various people I've had in my life. And, and then we, we sat down, myself, uh, Harry and Millie, and we rehearse stuff. And initially there was a lot more in the way of emotional stuff coming out because it was digging deep into my own personal stuff. And we paired it back. And we, what we were left with behind was, was, a, was a, an emotionally connected Sherlock, but only emotionally connected with one person. And that was Enola. And I loved building that part of the character. He's still this rather eccentric, odd, weird, aloof, genius detective as yeah. far as the outside world is concerned, as far as anyone else is concerned, but his relationship with Enola is is very specific and very unique, and and I, I enjoyed I enjoyed crafting that with with my director and my co-stars. If if one word or two words could come to mind just to say the power of Millie Bobby Brown, what would they be? Wow, uh, wow is one of them. <laughs> 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 that came out naturally. That was uh, <laughs> And uh, charismatic. There's there's no one quite like her. Uh, she is she's extraordinary. She is both a 16 year old and a 35 year old at the same time, and she flip flops between the two um, at her at her whim. And it's very confusing sometimes because she'll be sitting there talking about an incredibly important emotional moment in a scene, and she's just come out of a scene and she's been crying or or laying down an excellent performance and then she'll switch over to talking about reality tv love islands and tiktok videos and trying to convince me to dance in a tiktok video for her that kind of stuff and so uh she she was um 
she was a, an extraordinary person to be around. And I'm looking forward to, to hopefully spending more time with her and hopefully working with her some more. But so far, it's just been an absolute privilege to be part of her journey so far.